Ballarat Courier, 10 May 1954. A lone woman sat terrified in a runaway tram which careered down Sir Street about 6.30pm on a Saturday evening, jumped the tram points at the intersection of Sturt and Grenville Street, bounded on the footpath and crashed through the brick wall of the office of the Buck's Head Hotel. Police were told that the tram had been a runaway and had apparently been left unattended at the Lydiard and Sturt Street terminal. It was the 6.28pm tram for Mount Pleasant. Holy crap! I looked across Sturt Street and I saw something hurtling down at great speed. It was a tram. It leapt down off its tracks, bounced over the gutter and into the front of the Buck's Head Hotel. I lipped off my bicycle immediately and rushed down to the scene. There was a lady trapped in the back of the tram saying, let me out, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I opened the door and let her out. He then went to the front of the tram and looked through the dust and bricks on the floor for the driver. But he wasn't there. The lady in the tram was Mrs Joanna Cochran. She was a nursing aide at the benevolent home off Drummond Street North. That evening Mrs Cochran came off the late shift and took the tram for her normal journey to Stones Corner, the corner of Main and Bridge Streets, to her home in Grey Street. Mrs Cochran showed great foresight as she moved from the centre compartment of the tram to the rear compartment where she closed the door and sat and waited. Mrs Cochran escaped with shaking and shock. Have a brandy to calm your nerves. Like I will never pass me lips. Didn't you used to work as a barmaid? Oh, which means I know it's past 6pm closing. Mrs Cochran would have been lost without the tram service, which she used every day to go to and from work. Years later I moved to Clyde Street, which is the Lydiard Street North Line. Mrs Cochran was born in 1905, so was 49 when the runaway tram incident occurred. She was single at the time and lived in 93. Get your hair cut! A nine-year-old boy escaped death by seconds when he left the office of the Buckshead Hotel, moments before a tram smashed into the wall. Hang on, did a tram crash into the bar or the office? When it is remembered that the tram had gone down the hill, crossed the road and mounted the footpath, it was a lucky escape for all in the vicinity that evening. You didn't answer my question. The tram struck the Buckshead Hotel at 6.30pm. Oh, it was 10pm! Within minutes of the crash, a tramwayman, Mr Frank Callahan, hurried to the scene and, after making numerous inquiries, appeared to be on the verge of collapse. He was assisted into the hotel where he rested. He later left, accompanied by other tramwaymen, and went to the tramway's Sturt Street office. Herb Knight, Tramways Union Delegate. There were points in front of the tram that hadn't been turned against the tram, so we lost the case. Naturally, we tried, but he lost his job. We lost it because he was suspended and then eventually sacked because they felt it was negligent on his part. He should have turned the points in front of the tram, which, were, which then would have sent the tram up Lydiard Street and it wouldn't have rolled down the hill. The front end of number 24 had taken the brunt of the impact and was badly damaged. The front headlight remained undamaged. The first efforts to remove the tram were unsuccessful. A bogey tram with a cable was tried, and then an RACV truck and a tram. But the truck cable snapped. Finally, a heavier cable was used, and the truck and tram hauled number 24 off the footpath, across the roadway, and back to the track. The west wall of the hotel office was smashed in. After the tram was removed, the light was switched on. The Buckshead Hotel was repaired and kept trading. Oh, yeah. well, uh,